Hello everyone, welcome to this series on the synopsis and summaries of famous works of literature. And in this video, we are going to discuss the novel The Seven Moons of Mali Al Maida by Shehan Karunatilka, which won Booker Prize in the year 2022. Introduction Shehan Karunatilka, a prominent Sri Lankan author, has made a significant impact on global literature with his debut novel China Man and the Booker Prize winning The Seven Moons of Mali Al Maida. While China Man is a humorous exploration of cricket and Sri Lankan society, The Seven Moons of Mali Al Maida delves into a darker, more complex narrative set against the backdrop of Sri Lanka's civil war. This video provides a detailed synopsis and study guide of Karuna Tilka's second novel, focusing on its themes, narrative style, and historical context. Synopsis of The Seven Moons of Mali Al Maida The Seven Moons of Mali Al Maida is set in 1980s Sri Lanka, a period marked by brutal civil conflict. The protagonist Mali Al Maida is a gay atheist war photographer who wakes up to find himself dead in an underworld resembling a chaotic bureaucratic office. He is granted seven moons or days to uncover the truth behind his death and guide his friends to a hidden stash of photographs that could expose the atrocities of the war. The novel is a blend of satire, magical realism and political commentary offering a vivid portrayal of Sri Lanka's tumultuous history. Historical Context The novel is deeply rooted in the history of Sri Lanka's civil war, a conflict that lasted from 1983 to 2009. Karuna Tilka's narrative covers the violence perpetrated by various groups, including the government, the Tamil Tigers and Marxist insurgents. The novel reflects on the widespread brutality and the challenges faced by those who sought to document the truth like Mali Al Maida. The depiction of these events offers readers a window into the complexities of Sri Lankan society during one of its darkest periods. Themes and Motives Violence and Corruption The novel is a stark commentary on the violence that plagued Sri Lanka during the civil war. Through Mali's eyes, we witness the ruthless actions of different factions, all willing to kill to achieve their ends. The hidden photographs represent the buried truths of these actions, highlighting the corruption that permeated all levels of society. Afterlife and Memory The concept of the afterlife is central to the novel. Mali's journey through the in between is not just a quest to solve his murder but also a reflection on memory and legacy. The novel suggests that forgetting the past allows atrocities to continue unchallenged while remembering can be a form of resistance. Identity and Marginalization Mali's character embodies the themes of identity and marginalization. As a gay man in a conservative society, his experiences reflect the broader struggles of those who live on the fringes. His photography serves as a metaphor for seeing and capturing the realities that others might prefer to ignore. Narrative Style Karuna Tilka employs a second-person narrative, a rare and immersive approach that directly engages the reader with Mali's experiences. This style combined with dark humor and vivid imagery, creates a unique reading experience that is both unsettling and thought-provoking. The narrative shifts between the living world and the afterlife add a layer of surrealism, reminiscent of the magical realism seen in the works of Salman Rushdie and Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Literary Comparisons the novel has drawn comparisons to the works of Rushdie and Marquez due to its use of magical realism and its exploration of historical 
and political themes. However, it also resonates with the sterical and surreal elements of Nikola Gogol's Dead Souls and Mikhail Bulgakov's The Master and Margarita. These influences are evident in Karuna Tilka's ability to blend the absurd with the profound, creating a narrative that is both entertaining and deeply meaningful. Conclusion The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida is a powerful exploration of a tragic period in Sri Lanka's history presented through the lens of a protagonist who is as complex as the country he inhabits. Karuna Tilka's use of satire, magical realism and a unique narrative style makes this novel not only a compelling read but also a significant contribution to post-colonial literature. As readers navigate Mali's afterlife journey, they are invited to reflect on the importance of memory, the consequences of violence and the ongoing struggle for justice in the face of overwhelming odds. So this was the discussion on Shehan Karuna Tilka's The Seven Moods of Mali Almeida. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other work. Until then, goodbye and thank you.